Hi, this is Keith Young. I just recently got or read a request for a tutorial about how to make shapes inside of Photoshop that you can edit, uh, but that are also you can do things like transparent gradients inside of. So what I wanted to do was just show you how to do that really quickly. What I'm going to do is go down to the shape tool inside of Photoshop and uh, I'll change it to something interesting just so we can see the effect and all I'm gonna do is in the tool options bar here I'm gonna make sure this is set to shape layers and I'm gonna click and drag out a shape okay now what if I wanna make this uh, instead of a solid color like it is a gradient what I can do is double click on my not double click on the color swatch but what I would do is go down to the effects tab here in the layers panel and then choose gradient overlay and now you can see that I have a gradient on top of my uh, shape layer here. So what I'm going to do is first I need to go to blending options and turn off the fill opacity. Okay, and you're going to see why in a minute. Now I'm going to go to the gradient overlay options and I'm going to click on the gradient bar. This brings up the gradient editor. Inside of the gradient editor down here is where you can set the color for your gradients. These are the color stops. So I can change the colors of my gradient. You can kind of see there. Okay. At the top, however, are the buttons where you change the transparency. So now you see if I click on the color stops at the top, I get the opacity option becomes active inside of this dialog box. So now I can turn this opacity down okay and now you see that you see the black and it's kind of fading it has a little red tinge but it's fading out to transparent now just to let you know that that is transparent what I'm gonna do is go in and I'm going to create a new layer on top of the background and then I'm going to fill that with a new color so let's just go ahead and fill that in with something like green okay so now you can see that you can see clear through that tr that uh, shape layer. It's actually an editable transparency. And also, here's the great thing about it. If you want to edit that shape, you can do so. And the gradient remains editable. The shape remains editable. It's not uh, rasterized at all. Okay? So I had someone uh, in a forum wondering how to do this kind of effect and this is how you create editable shape layers or editable gradient shape layers that have transparency inside of them that was the uh, specific question so hopefully um, this has helped out some people who are trying to create some transparency inside of shape layers and uh, let me know if you have any more questions thanks